Yeah, I know. I have Rancho stuff. Get over it. It works. Um, let's start out with uh, tie rod ends, right? Everybody knows what those are. Let me grab a light. Let me shed a little light on the subject here, right? Okay, tie rod ends. It's okay if they rotate a little bit like that. No problem. As long as when you wiggle them like this, there's no play. Okay. Another thing that can cause problems, these upper ball joints. They wear, well, lower ones too. They wear and uh, they give you a play. The only way you could tell usually is if you pull, grab the wheel, you push out, pull in, you can and watch to see if they move, right? If they move, replace them. If they feel a little bit loose, replace them. If you have 150,000 miles on them and never greased them, replace them. Um, yeah, that is a, is a big cause. A lot of people don't understand. Sometimes um, if you got bad warped rotors, it'll cause the brakes to grab harder and softer, which will cause the front end to oscillate. Oscillation is what causes the, the wheel to do this on you, right? Back and forth. And that's what you end up, that's what the death wobble is. If we follow our linkage across, no, no, those don't fix it. It might mask it, but uh, it doesn't fix the problem. Never did, never will. On this side, we've got two more ball, uh, tie rod ends. Uh, the actual tie rod end and drag link end. Um, same thing with those, wiggle them, make sure that they aren't loose. There's no play. If there's play in them, replace them. I don't have any play because you can see um, I've, they're fairly new because I just replaced them only about I don't know, a month ago because mine were worn. Okay. Next spot up here, another tie rod end on the drag link on the steering arm. That's another place that can cause shake. Any play in this? suspend in this steering system will cause a wobble no ifs ands or buts about it another thing that can cause problems these upper bushings they delaminate they dry out they come apart um, these are replaced new when i put the uh, suspension lift in so mine are brand new ish all right Another thing that can cause problems, a lot of people don't think of, that thing right there. It's called a steering box, steering gear box. Um, damn, dripping in my face. It's winter here, of course, duh. Um, if there's play in that, you can see up there, that joint is moving. If you wiggle back and forth for play, if there's play in the steering box, there is an adjustment on it. You can tighten up a little bit. That will help. Um, that can cause an oscillation because there's a little bit of play in there. So, and what will fix it? Uh, you know, normally in my experience over the years, death wobble becomes... Um, is usually a series of things it isn't just one part it isn't one bad joint or one bad joint or you know a bad bushing usually it's a it's like a bad ball joint and a bad tie rod end on one end or the other or up on the steering box or warrant steering box and a wheel bearing that's going out um, it's a combination of things not just one thing Things you have to check for, and you usually need help with um, C 
sometimes, uh, well, a lot of problems can be caused by your track bar here. Usually when you're checking your track bar, you need a friend. Um, you can see I don't have any play. I have a uh, uh, Iron Rock off-road steering stabilizer or uh, steering equalizer, I think it's called. Um, they're like 170 bucks or something. It's a great piece. Um, drops the track bar, not as, as big of an angle. <sighs> and uh, I'm also running a drop pitman arm with it. So I'm keeping, I know it's hard to tell that, um, but geometry is, plays a big thing in bump steer. And if you go off of this bolt here, and this bolt here, and if you run a straight line through, um, my drag link and my track bar are in parallel with each other. So I have almost zero bump steer. That's the reason I'm running these parts together. And uh, anyway, back to the track bar. Okay. A lot of times these bushings perish. There's a sleeve inside and there's rubber. And the rubber inside dries out, cracks, breaks, and it delaminates, comes apart, gives you space. And what you get, you can, mine of course, isn't bad. So, but you can, um, with it on the ground, if you have somebody turn the steering wheel back and forth, you can watch this versus this. If this is moving and this isn't, and you've got, Eighth inch movement, your bushings are bad. It'll be the same thing down here on this one. Mine, of course, I have no play because I have um, core bushings, Kevin's off-road bushings in my JKS track bar. So yeah, I have no play anywhere if you need uh make sure you check out one of my other videos i uh, you can see me installing this steering equalizer um, it's in one of the lift videos i can't say which one because i don't remember but it's there so those are key points to check for your death wobble you got this You've got this, you've got these, right? You've got this joint, you've got this joint, and you've got ball joints, right? And it comes down to brakes and wheel bearings. That's your death wobble stuff. Other things that, well, can't really see on mine because obviously I have rusty um, rough country stuff because I live in a rust belt and everything turns to rust but you have upper control arms that are bolted in there go to there sometimes those bushings go bad or the bolts are loose there or there and then you would have one that goes from here to the body right here, which I've cut off, and those ones also can go bad. So that's another point to check, although those are less likely to cause death wobble versus something hard parts related up front. Okay, so as uh, we've gone over, it looked pretty simple. It's not always the easiest to find, but uh, one of those key points or combination of one, two, three, all of them can cause your death wobble. And uh, like I said, it's not an easy fix. Usually it's a track bar, but not all the time. Like I said, there's a lot of components on the front and any one of those can be causing your wobble. Um, make sure if you got any questions, make sure you leave a message down below. Go ahead, hit the subscribe. Give me a thumbs up because uh, I'm doing you a service here, right? 
And uh, you can always find me in the Jeep groups on Facebook too. Um, I hope to see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.